Hello YouTube, I hope you're doing well. Today we're on code.org, we're in unit 7, lesson 3, part 4. It says run this program to see how it works. Write the code for the month to season function using the comments to help you write the code. It says the output to the console should look something like this and it gives an example. And then it gives us this note, which tells us which months fall into which season. And we're going to use this information to complete the function. Before we begin, let's go ahead and look and see what's going on within this app. And we'll do that by just clicking run. So as I look through the console log, I can see that we have a name. Lenora is 15 years old and is a teenager. It also says that Lenora was born in March, which is in the undefined. Okay. So I'm guessing this is what we're going to write in a second. Let's look to the code to see what's going on. So we have three function calls here on lines two, three, and four. We have a name, an age, and the month that they were born. We have that for each of these calls. So then it says here in the comments that this displays information about the person in the console. It says that we have the name, which is a string, an age, which is a number, and the birth month, which is also a string. Here we have in our function this call, and we have those three arguments. Within this function, we can see two printouts to the console log. The first one pulls the name, adds the string, is, and then adds age, along with more string, which says years old and is. And then we see the addition of a function call, and age is being passed. So let's look down here to see. So age to description, that age is being passed down to this section here, years. Within this function, we see a variable is being created. It's an empty string called description. We then have this if statement, which has multiple checks. So we see here, it's looking to see is that number that was passed through, is that less than or equal to one? And then we have a description here that's an infant. And it does that for various years. So three, five, 12 and 19. And depending on what happens with the check, a different description is assigned to the variable description. Then that is returned back to this, and that is what's output within the console log. And that's why Lenora is listed as a teenager, yet Tan is listed as a toddler, it's just based upon the comparison there. We then have this, the console log, we have name, the string it was born in, the birth month, and then the string, which is in the, and then we have this function called month to season, and the birth month is being passed down. So let's scroll down, and we see this function, and we're going to have to complete it. They've already added some comments. It says converts a month to the season of the year. It says month is a string, and it gives the example that it's a month of the year. And then what we're going to do is return a string. What we're going to do is we're going to mimic what we see here in the age to description function. The first thing that I see is that we need to create a variable. So let's go to the variables. We'll call this season. And we're going to make that equal to an empty string. And that's what we saw above. Ultimately, that's going to be populated by what we put in the if. So let's go to our control. We're going to drag in our if. There's going to be a couple of checks here. The first one is we're going to look to see is the month that's being passed down is it equal to January, February, or March? So let's go to the math section. What we need is the or Boolean operator, and we actually need that twice. Our first check is going to be is month equal to January. We're going to do that also for February and March. So this first check is it's looking to see what was passed for month. Is that month equal to January or is it equal to February or is it equal to March? If it is, we want to assign the variable season as winter. So if any of these three conditions is true, it's going to pass this, but we need to look for the other months. So let's create two more of the else ifs, and then we just need one else. And what we're going to do is just copy this 
I have a feeling that just copying and pasting some of my text and editing that copy for different months is going to be faster than bringing in the blocks. So I'm just going to speed through this. I'll close up after I'm done. Something to note before I begin is there is a parenthesis here because I use that block and often it'll bring in a few extra things that I don't actually need, such as these. So now if I copy this, it should work. So within this if function, we're going through a few checks. We're looking to see is the month equal to January, February, March. It only needs to be one of these. If it is, it's going to assign the variable season as winter. If not, it's going to look here. Is the month April, May, or June? If any of those is true, it's going to go ahead and assign the variable season with spring. If that's not true, it's going to look to see if that month is July, August, or September. If any of that's true, it's going to go ahead and assign summer to the variable season. And if none of those is true, it's just going to go ahead and assign the season as fall. We don't have to rewrite our else if because there's not going to be any other criteria. And so by default, fall is going to be OK. The final thing that we need to do within this function is to return our value. So we'll go ahead and drag that below our if statement. And what we're going to do is return the variable season. So once this runs, what should happen is that puts back that value to here, and that should complete our console string. As I look here, I can see we have winter, summer, and fall. The one that I really would want to look at is just to see if our else was correct. And October does fall into the fall category, so our code looks pretty good. Once you've completed this task, make sure you click finish. Mm -hmm.